Morton Anderson to kick off. Here's the former Saint and Viking, Morton Anderson, to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And how about that for some fireworks to start this one? And the fireworks turned out to be for the kicking team, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, go down there, make a play, knock it free, and end up with the football. And for the team who's supposed to have the ball, now the defense has to run out on the field and see if they can slow things down a bit. A quick scramble for the helmets, and now we switch sides. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The ball carrier. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Looking to throw. Gannon. This will be caught at about the five. And the Vikings are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Back to throw. Gannon. Flushed out right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Marcus Peters on the coverage. Jackson on first down. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. DK Metcalf taking it goal line to goal line, 100 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. lead at 7-0. The kick is good. Makes the score. Ravens 7. Vikings nothing. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Brings us out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24 yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Awesome. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Looking to throw, Gannon. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain of 15. 15 yards on the play, first down. Back to throw, Gannon. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. A gain of six there on first. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we we're talking about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him.
throwing on first down. Gannon. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Off play action. Gannon. Gonna let it fly for Rudolph. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the eight-time Pro Bowler, Steve Atwater. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so he didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. The intended target was Chris Godwin, but now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you... 